Hello all. Well, I am uh, going back to J-Car. Um, that S video lead. Well, the graphics card is actually SVHS. It's uh, video and audio. Uh, I thought it was S video, but it's actually video and audio. So I'm going back to J-Car. to get a D sub to S video converter instead. Now, D sub to S video, the resolution's gonna be a little bit out of whack, um, but I should be able to get a decent, um, a decent stretch in it if I have to. Um, theoretically, cinema wide should, should fill the whole screen on that thing. Um, I, ideally I'd love it if I can get 1280 by 720 off it the graphics card does support 1280 by 720 so we'll see how it goes before we do anything though I've got to go to the Bowser and top the tank up and then we'll uh, I've also got to go and pick up the other half and uh then drop her off and then I'll go to uh, go back to J-Car. Nice day for a spin. It's beautiful, it's about 22 degrees, got a beautiful southwester blowing. I don't even have the AC on. It's 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 absolutely beautiful to Savo. That's what I hate about this Bowser. I haven't even got enough petrol to get into Geelong to get cheaper fuel and these guys are always about 10 or 12 cents more expensive but unfortunately it's my local Bowser okay back in a bit alrighty I'm leaving one BP Bowser let's uh Winery, that strangely enough. Yeah, boy, oh. oh, I'm on the road. Yeah, oh, I've got to pick Nay up and then take it to the train station. So I haven't got Bluetooth. Right, mate. Ciao. spin
love it when we get a southwester breeze blow through because all the humidity just gets blown away. No, you don't, Mister. Oh, it's Still got a couple of high tension leads lying in the grass there. Today is about four cups of coffee. that down. thinking we haven't spoken about here on the Backyard Tech Channel but uh, the uh, Banking Royal Commission which I've been watching because of what happened to us as a family and uh, geez I've got to tell you if my father was still alive he would be he would be doing whatever he could to put the NAB to the saw, they really ruined us. Um, he, 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 would, he would love the fact that the NAB has been so belted by the Royal Commission. Uh, actually, he'd be happy all four banks have been whole smashed by the Royal Commission, but he'd be rubbing his hands together and considering his options with the NAB. If he'd been alive, he would have he would have applied to go in front of the Royal Commission. I can guarantee it, because the NAB basically sent my father to the wall and didn't help him us out of the predicament we were in. Obviously, here in business in Geelong, and um, I reckon when they were up in Melbourne, if he was still alive, he would have appeared in front of the Royal Commission and told them exactly what the NAB had done to us. Um, gee, I tell you what, you know, I haven't mentioned anything about it in our regular videos, but in some cases, I think is the old adage of keep your cash under the bed because it's safer. I think that's actually quite true. <laughs> 
makes it a bit hard to pay the bills these days though if you haven't got a bank account because well, you can go to Australia Post around the country and pay your bills in cash but it's um, yeah it, it, I, when, I, when I first heard about the, heard about the Royal Commission I, I was you know so happy to see that finally I mean I, look I've got to admit I don't think the Royal Commission went far enough with the big four banks but you know the NAB screwed me with my small business um, they ruined our family business they were more worried about profit than anything else um, they would not negotiate all this type of stuff this Navara doesn't know which lane to be in in fact I'm actually going to do something different today I'm not going to go through the guts of Geelong because the traffic's going to be nightmarish and I've got to get to the other half. Oh, Marina, well done, mate. The Navara hit his brakes. I mean, I know we, we, we speak about off-topic stuff during the vlogs and that, but I, yeah, I'm glad to see, I would like to have seen the Royal Commission go further and really hand it to the banks. Um, but, you know, to see the NAB being, you know, shown to be the bank that it was, you know, they buggered me up. They wanted to send me to the wall. They didn't want to hear that, you know, they don't want to hear that you've got trouble because of your business in an area like Geelong. Um, they sent my father to the wall. Um, I know there's going to be people out there saying, oh no, the banks are, you know, perfect. They've never done me wrong and all this type of stuff. But, you know, each person's um, relationship can vary with a bank something severe. I, found, I always found it a bit weird. The former, the former, um, uh, chairman of the uh, Federal Reserve of Australia, Ken Henry, ends up at the NAB. That just seemed a bit weird to me. Um, I have to say though, I don't think the banks are going to do anything. The, uh, the 76 recommendations made by the Royal Commission the banks are going to we, the banks are going to figure out a way around it. Uh, ASIC is a toothless tiger. Uh, APRA is not much better. Um, the banks have been, you know, circumventing the regulations for donkey's years, and ASIC and APRA have done nothing about it. Uh, I don't see. I mean, criminal charges. It'll be like negotiating with a public prosecutor, basically, you know, the banks will just negotiate their way out of it, they always do. You know, there's been people who've said, you know, oh no, there's nothing wrong with the banks and everything they do is above board and they, they've never sent anyone wrong or this type of stuff but there are plenty of other people that they've absolutely ruined the farmers for example sorry territory well, I don't think I'm gonna get through here with the damn bus no I'm not a damn truck right on now come on Astra Let's get around here, shall we? I chose, I chose not to say, oh, you idiot. I chose not to say anything about the Banking Royal Commission because I, there's so much murky water in it these days. And I mean, you can sit there and, you know, 
the bank I'm with is not an Australian bank. I'm with an international bank, which I think they've, you know, oh God, I've done it again. I've gone into a European car. Ha! I, um, my bank's from overseas and any time I've had a problem with them or a problem with a payment or something, I've had no trouble with them. I've actually had less trouble with my overseas bank than I've had with any of the Australian banks in my entire life. Like I was with, I've been right through all four, okay? Uh, five actually. So I've been through the big four and then obviously um, a bank that, well, is based in Adelaide, uh, is based in Bendigo, but uh, the Bendigo Bank. And I've had trouble with them. Um, and that, I'll tell you what it is though, at this time on a Friday Arvo, time for a Coke. And, um, you know, I, I read the, I, I've read some of the reports on the Banking Royal Commission and I've followed it online and that. It's, it's you know, I, 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 I wouldn't want to be a banker. I wouldn't want to work in the financial industry because the whole idea of it is, you know, rip people off in some cases. Still got through before that truck. That was good. Oh, Jesus Christ! Where are you going? Yes, I'm going to jam my camera into a Land Cruiser. Well done. It's getting that time of the afternoon in Geelong. People are not going to know how to drive. Saw me and then decides to come over at me. Old mate style. Where are you going? Oh, what is it? TGIB. No. Uh, Bad Driving Friday. BDF. <laughs> Let's ram into everybody. What a wonderful idea. <coughs> Pardon me.
Good grief, there's a lot of traffic on the road for a Friday Arvo around the side of town. Holy moly. That's a bit of a rapid pull off, and he smoked his tyres. Oh no, he's got a problem, he put his hazards on. Either I shouldn't be driving today, or there are a lot of idiots on the road. <laughs> I went for a trip in one of those cars that's got auto stop in them, right? You know, you, you hit your brakes, you come to a stop, the car turns off. Man, that feels weird. You know, you come to a grinding halt, hit your brakes, you pull up at the lights, and your engine stops. You take your foot off the brake and the engine starts up again. Oh, good grief! Old mate's going to start getting road rage shortly. Okay, well, I will uh, get the other half and uh, we shall return. Oh, here she comes. Come the other half. Alrighty, let's uh, get the show on the road. Oh, 
hell? Hang on. No. Okay. Alright, let's go. Which one's easier for you to get to? Well, I've got to go to J car, so I'll just drop you off along. Ah! He's like, there's only three of you. Um, yeah. Look what work skills paid for. Head. Oh, you got a haircut, did you? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Carly paid for it. That's cool. I was saying that I had to, I wanted to get one before I go to TAFE. Yeah. And she goes, well, we've got a voucher. It's $20. Yeah, that's all right. So um, they get them done at the one in um, the Payless or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I actually got a lady that I, an uh, Indian lady that I had right at the start. Yep. And um, she goes, have you come in here a while ago, like probably six months ago or something? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I did your hair. I said, yeah, you did. <laughs> she remembers because of the undercut. Yeah. And she goes, you're looking really good. I'm like, thank you. And um, she said, your hair's growing back through here. And she goes, um, she didn't put any layers, thank goodness. Oh, that's lucky. Um, oh. She goes, you've got layers through this. Do you want me? I said, no. She goes, good. She said, you need that weight around the yeah. bottom. And I said, yeah, I had a girl do it um, at another place and she put layers in that I didn't ask for. And um, it was looking like a bit of a mullet at the back. Because it was longer at the back. And Sorry. she also told me how to um, fix the bottom of my hair underneath. Because oh. it's really frizzy and it curls. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she goes, I normally wouldn't say this to people. But she goes, if you either blow dry it or straighten it, just that bit, yeah. that bit under there, which is shorter, um, she said, your hair won't look as frizzy at the back. And she said, then if you want to put it up, it's straight. It's not going to have those frizzy bits. So I'm going to go back to J car. Yeah. Have you been to Louie? No. Are they still not answering their phones? Nope. Maybe they've taken off. I would have told oh, you. Oh, can have I you... not get down? Oh, yeah, I can. No. No, I can't because the car's going down there. What? Over there? Or here? Yeah, the bus oh. has gone down there. Oh, is it just. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just... Oh! That the, the boys were talking about today. I am videoing, by the way. What were they talking about? Not oh, go on. I'll you mute can't. it. I'll mute it in the video. No, you won't. Yes, I will. I can't. Your father rang you, by the way, too. Yeah. Well, I couldn't talk to him. Because you're videoing. No. What do you mean you put I've got Bluetooth. Oh. oh, I thought you meant today he broke it. Yeah, he like did. Like as in, in general. And he realised he meant while you were driving. Yeah, he rang me while I was driving. So. No, I haven't got cash out. So I will. Um, we'll just put it on here. Oh, oh crap. What? You're not the only one that's rang me. No. Dad rang me. Yes. How do you know Dad rang me? Because he told me he rang you. Wait, did you... So you did talk to him? No. Yeah, but I didn't have a full-on conversation because I haven't got Bluetooth. What's 
a reason why he wanted me? I don't know. I want to find out what you're doing. Yeah, I got a ring. I'll put five dollars on my phone. I made sure I had five dollars. Oh, that's not what I want to go down. It's the next one. The next one I want to go down. The boys were very rude, let's put it that way. Do you have to go in next Friday or not? Yes. You do? Yes. Right, well, she said I can either, I, she said you'll still have to come in because I don't, unless I start next week, I've got to go in. Yeah, I thought that might, well, that's where Extreme are. Ah. Huh? Extreme Technology used to be where um, Long Locksmiths are and they've moved out here. Oh. Yeah, further and further. They're getting less and less convenient for people. Um, something happened under the bridge. What do you mean? Under the railway. When? You know that dark underpass thing? Yeah. Yeah, there was police there this morning. What was it? And then on this end, that end they were blocked off by police. Mm. And this end they had... Um, a big truck tow truck like that mat those massive oh don't trucks. tell me another i'm guessing something got caught underneath oh, the truck oh yeah that'll be right or, or a bloody camper whatever but they had the fire brigade there as well yeah you'd have to because if you if it's uh, one of those damn maui campers or whatever it is you know, those silly tourists who don't understand that the bridge is only 2.7 meters high and the campers 3.1 meters high then because you've you know if you've taken the pot off the roof you need the fire is there because it's dangerous yeah so i don't know because the the um deacon bus goes down along yeah. past deacon so it comes up and we could see the police there yeah probably some wank has driven into the bridge again <laughs> Some wanker will have driven into the bridge again. Oh, I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna fit. Bang! Oh, no. You really need to mute. The thing. Oh, my hair feels good again. Mm -hmm. And she put some conditioning treatment in it too. For me. Yeah. Well, so my hair smells like a hairdresser. And this is a rarity. I very rarely get stopped here. Huh? My hair smells like I've been to the hairdresser. <laughs> well, you better ring your father when. I'm going to put $5 on and then I'll ring them. Yeah. Because they probably think I'm not going to do this. Well, I said to him when you were working, I had to go and pick you up. I know why I didn't hear my phone. Yeah, it's on silent. I had to turn it on to silent. It echoes in the shed and everyone's like, now you owe me! <laughs> we spent half the day, half the afternoon outside. Gas bagging. Yeah. Talking boy talk. <laughs> and they keep going, oh, sorry, don't don't mean to be, you know, rude. I'm like, I turned to them, I said, just, just class me as one of the boys. <laughs> Yesterday was funny. My mind was in the gutter the whole day, the whole afternoon. Anything anyone said, I just sniggered to myself. Just laughed. Poor Hayley. She said one thing and I'm just like, oh my god. I'll be able to tell you if something smashed into the roof anyway. Into that bridge. I have to say, uh, this, this bridge here has got the same problem as Montague Street. This one's got a double side though. Like double bridge. That's well done, idiots. Someone walked down in front of the bus this morning. Oh yeah, that'd be right. The bus had just um, taken off and they just walked out. Yeah. I nearly fell off the seat. Happens all the time. I nearly fell off the seat. So you're extreme, the seat. extreme were there. Oh right. yeah. Now yeah. they're out there in Geelong locksmiths who used to be behind uh, near you guys near us and now yeah 
Hello, Jericho. You take my fiance's money. Well, I'm just hoping I've got what I want, which is a decent to The only time I've ever gone in there and spent money was for Christmas. And it wasn't even for you. No. It was for Mum and Dad. It was for Mum and Dad. I bought them torches. Mm. And we got it on my trade cards. Yeah, and we got them on my trade card. Oh. Oh, Reaper Graphics. Oh, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I was about to say, Reaper Graphics has got... No, it hasn't. Did I you think see Reaper... the name of that hairdresser? Shibum. <laughs> Underneath of it? No. Glover. Oh! <laughs> yeah, someone hit the bridge. How can you tell? Still glass all down it the wasn't side. This side. Sorry? It wasn't this side they hit. Oh, they must have been two then. Well, they hit the Latrobe Terrace side. Yeah, well, that's where the truck was and that. This is the side the police were on. Because oh, otherwise, I would have seen down it. All. There. There's all glass down there as well, so it must have been two. That or they were going too fast and the glass flew. Yeah, well, that too. I can't believe how many people hit that damn bridge. Oh, yeah. It's not that hard. I don't want to go to that hairdresser. <laughs> Shy bum blow bath. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> It really does not sound healthy. It's disturbing. Who's your hairdresser? Shy bum blow bar. Oh. I don't think it's pronounced shy bum. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I hope it's not pronounced she bum. That's, that's worse. She bum. She bum blue. Oh, what are you doing? And there's a highway patrol. Where? This side. Two cars down. There's more um, ones just down there. Yeah, well, I need a 10 minute drop off. That's what I mean. I'm going to pay for two. your. There's one. Yeah, well, that's only two minutes. Oh, I didn't realise they were in there. Uh, yes. That's us, isn't it? Yes. That's all right. Yeah, that's 10 minutes. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Do you want to wind up this one? Oh, I probably should wind that up. Yeah, because I can't. Righto, guys. Back soon. Alright, so, drop the other half off of the train station. Let's go back to J car. And let's hope they've got what I want. Well, according to the website, they do. Whether that's true or not is, well, yet to be, uh, yet to be determined. Well, at least this time I'll be able to use my trade card again, which is always fun to use. got a new M series BMW. Holy dooly. It's a bit flash. <laughs> Very flash. That's the new highway patrol cars. Oh. That is a mongrel of an exit that one. So someone smashed into that low bridge again. I find that funny. I really find that funny. Some people, you know, if you've got a 3.1 metre freaking camper, you're not going to fit under a 2.7 metre bridge, and yet people do it. Okay, back to this awesome store I love. And let's hope they've got what I want, at least in stock. All right, well, couldn't get the actual converter box, but what I'm going to do, which we will do tomorrow, uh, is I'm actually gonna make a uh, DB15 to SV, S video uh, S video converter, because I got one of these. You can't really see it, it's 
DB9 to component, uh, DB15 to component, um, designed for PC to projector, which is exactly what my, t my television is. It is a projector. So what I'm going to do is uh, have a look at the pinouts uh, in the S-Video lead. We nearly had a prang there. And, um, and uh, then mod the cable. That's true. Two trips to JCAR in, what, just over 24 hours. So... And that, that whole thing, uh, that's another one of those Concord branded ones, which is um, apparently supposed to be, a, you know, as, you, as you guys saw, my good expensive Concord HDMI lead spat the dummy. I'm hoping this doesn't happen, but this is DB15 to component. And technically S-Video is a component signal. So I can either do um convert it all into one composite signal which isn't necessarily a good idea or i can convert it into a euroscart signal which would even be better because my rear pro doesn't have component in that's problematic so if i can convert it from that to s video and then into the SCART plug, which has already got audio on it, I'll be happy. Uh, we're getting into that time of Friday afternoon traffic now. Alright, let's go home via the supermarket first because I've got to pick up a couple of things. Why is no one moving? It is green. What's going on in Johnson Park tonight? Oh, it's the night market. Oh, bugger. I forgot about that. It's the uh, night market at Johnston Park tonight. Huh. My Victorians will know what the Queen Vic night market is. into the supermarket, get a couple of things and then head home. Uh, let's play with fire and go through the middle of Geelong, shall we? Let's just see how chaotic the traffic is. What is it? Court to four Friday Arvo. How are we looking? Oh, it's pretty clear. Sweet. Damn me, we'll need a four wheel drive to get a lot of It's ridiculous now. Cinemas. You know, I'm surprised the village cinemas here in Geelong. Whoa! Ha! Huh. Oh, for...
So in theory, all I've got to do for an S video lead is strip it and then work out which pin goes with which color. Because all that RGB to, or all that VGA to component will be is uh, just a red, green and blue signal. So we'll be making a lead tomorrow. side of the city than the other side of the city. How's that work? That's weird. It's actually cooler this side of Geelong's suburbs than it is the other side where I got the other half from. That's weird. By the time you got, by the time you guys see this tonight's live convo will have already gone to air anyway. Oh, that's coming out of that Holden, is it? Where that music is coming from? Sounds like it's out of a car. That's coming from. No idea where that all came from. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but whoever was listening to that was having their ears blown off. <laughs> I tell you what, this will be breakfast and lunch all rolled into one. That's not bad. Ten to four in the afternoon. We're going to have a Mars bar. <laughs> That's real healthy, isn't it? It's the Audi in front of me. No, it's not. It's the Commodore. The white car in front of this Audi has got his sound system up, or her sound system up, full throttle. I can hear that from here, from, you know, I suppose that's not really a car length between you know, the Commodore, the Audi and me, but I can hear that Commodore. Good grief. I don't even have my music up that loud.
get a couple of things at uh, the supermarket on the way home and go home. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's the Commodore. That white car on the right hand side up behind the car, on the street, he's, they've got this car audio absolutely thumping. No sub, it's just. I can hear it from here. Public performance, anyone? <laughs> Good grief. Not even a P plater. You'd expect a P plater to have that sort of noise happening. Oh my god. No idea what they're listening to. favourite supermarket. Couldn't miss that car for its colour. Oh, the commos just came out. Go on, fella. the Land Rover. Right, guys, see you shortly. Okay, so, got what I need, pretty busy in there again, funny enough, but I do have my breakfast, lunch and dinner, or at least breakfast and lunch, dinner's going to be uh, buffalo wings again, for a Friday night. Well, that's not bad. Breakfast at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, or a breakfast and lunch. <laughs> I don't eat unless I'm hungry. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. I should have got one of these earlier today and I didn't. like a Mars bar at four o'clock in the afternoon. So nice. Oh. Anyone I think old mate loves his Mars bars. Someone's got spinner hubcaps. <laughs> I can remember them being the rage. Who remembers them back from, what is it, the 90s and early 2000s? Spinning hubcaps. Tom. 
overall, the last few years have been a really family friendly event. In finance news, the share market down 19 points this hour. Three AW Sports test drive the new BMW X5 at Waverley BMW. Ricky Ponting has been appointed as an assistant coach for Australia's looming World Cup campaign. The former That's captain will work with the limited overs batsman with regular batting coach Graham Hick to focus on Ashes preparation. Essendon midfielder Devin Smith is expected to be fine for round one after suffering an arm injury at training today. Aussie Rob Whittaker hopes the home crowd at Rod Laver Arena will help him keep his UFC middleweight title against American Kelvin Gastelum on Sunday. No one will be going to that. Right now, but, uh, the, the Rod Laver Arena in particular, the, the crowd you can feel. That'll be absolutely like packed in there for the UFC. Olympic Boulevard between Amy Park and Pub Road will be closed from tonight until Tuesday. Allow an hour for detour. Visit bigbill.big.gov.au for more. Here, open season is on. With the Tennessee SUV Sorento. Yes, bigbill.big.gov.au. Big absolute stuffing mess that's going to do nothing for the traffic congestion around Melbourne. The line, they're not doing any big road projects here either. There's actually only three roads along the Bellarine Peninsula. The one I'm on, the one to the left, and a touristy road to the right. I mean, you know, we need better roads out this side of the road. You'll never get them. There's no boats out this side of Geelong. Oh, I'm glad I'm not going to Bendigo today. I wouldn't be getting up there till 8 o'clock tonight with that sort of accident. Oh, well, old mate's home by himself for a couple of nights. dead easy because um, you've only got red, green and blue coming out.
crackle, crackle, and it blew up. Blew up. Bang! Melbourne, bloody um, well in it. I saw the meteorite as well. Um, it was just going over the. Oh, for crying out loud. Pink wheels, wheels, are you serious? Over an apple and. Um, <laughs> purple, yeah, pinky yeah. purple yeah. wheels. Good oh, grief. Sorry, okay. Or what, mate? I didn't know what was happening until uh, my grandma pointed it out. And I was That's not near Melbourne, Melbourne. that is damn well in Metro oh, Melbourne. It's in it's West Meadows. Oh. Funny how I know my hometown. We didn't get to see that. I think it might have hit the earth. Alright, thank you, Nate. Appreciate that. Cameron, go ahead. Yeah, I was just getting on uh, Westgate from Tower Street. Yeah, what did you say? I just 